It's crashing. Everything's crashing. My thumbnail's crashing. The economy's crashing. The stock market's crashing. There's no stimulus. You guys are using your credit cards. No jobs. Food crisis. It's pretty bad. But there's always room for good news. And yesterday I said I would give away free clothing. <laughs> if you came up with the bed, the bed, the best dad joke, anything, whoever gets the number one, like, okay, 32, uh, 32 thumbs. Everything is better than expected. Okay, I like that. How can you tell if it's a dad joke? Uh, it's a parent. Okay, I like that. You got 39. And then another 39 got uh, breaking news. We're in for way worse. So what the frack? We got two 39s. I, I don't know. Just... Both of you, Fix It Mike and Brian, hit me up via email. I'll send you some clothes. Although I do like this one. Uh, why is the baby strawberry crying? Because her mother was in a jam. And banks warn that there is economic pain coming. There's no stimulus. Cash is dwindling. And guess what? They're not loaning. As a result, America's, America's, you guys aren't spending. That's what you need to do. But, uh, and, and credit card spending's down too. So you guys can't do that. You need to take out loans. We're in a debt-based system. We're in a credit-based That's how money is created. Well, you guys call it money. I, I don't call it money, but that's how the system is, uh, is afloat is because you go to a bank, the bank gives you a loan, and they're like, poof, money. And how do you destroy money? By paying off that loan. So stop it. And there was a stock market sell-off. Why, Johnny Bravo? Well, because of technical indicators. Oh, that's what I do. And yesterday I told you I was talking about Bitcoin and I kind of forgot. So we're talking Bitcoin and Nikola, the greatest scam of all times. The CEO or founder, the dude, stepped down. It's like, what? Oh, you don't like that SEC thing? You don't like it that you brought your truck to the top of a hill and just let it coast on the way down and, and said, well, no, we didn't say that it actually had something in it. So you can do those things when you're private. But when you go public, mm -mm -mm, liars get punished. And you're going to love this story. You guys decide, hey, you know what? I think uh, I'm going to go to a restaurant. Well, they're going to charge you more. I just, that's why I'm trying to leave this, this thing, this state. Looks like this. California. I've been trying to get out for a long time. What's our tax? We're at almost 15. We're going to be there, right? Might as well just make it just round to 20. I'll come visit you guys in Tennessee. That looks like that. I don't know. Maybe. Where do I even go? And government debt rose. Can you believe that? To a record amount in quarter two. So let's take a little peek. So we will do one in the pink. Peek, peek. And the other. Oh, hey, look, a rock star. And I swear these jokes are funny, but I have a feeling they kind of fly over a lot of people's heads. You're like, peak, pink, one in the, in the pink, and, the, and then don't, don't Google it. And I do have a rule on this channel. If I can make you giggle one time, that's all we, all we want. Look at all of this red. Oh, except for the dollar. Huh. Okay. Uh, I'll be, I promise you Bitcoin haters, I will be very quick. I just want to show everyone why you should be scared. The first one, I made the line really green for you. See that? It broke a key level. Well, so did you, S&P 500. So you normal people... Also, so this broke, look, right down in the toilet. Oh, can't get above it. Oh, no, forget it. And we got death crosses. We have golden crosses. Don't ever put that in a, a title of YouTube. Don't use that word. This is good. This is where you're coming in. Oh, we're okay. And this one, you're like, are you sure? Can you get over? And the minute it gets over that one, off to the races on, on that one. Just in case, I flubbed up and I called that the 200. The, the red one's the 200, which I have the white one. I changed it to 180 because... I want to beat all the Robin Hood kids before it either hits that or crosses that. Do you see that? There's the 200, that red one. You guys need to know these things. This is so, so, so important. Don't listen to, don't listen to the news. Just watch, just watch me. But here's the one out of two things that freak me out about Bitcoin. Number one, it follows the S&P 500. Remember when the big sell-off and it sells off 
so much worse than anything else. So when, yeah, what was Bitcoin? I have it in uh, percentages right now. That's, that's, ooh, that, let's leave it back for percentage just for charts. Um, when the S&P sells off, so does Bitcoin. And do I think that uh, the S&P is going to be selling off uh, coming up here sometime soon? The answer is yes. So guess what's going to happen to our lovely Bitcoin? I still own it. I still think that is God's money. <laughs> my, my gold people are like, all right, how do I turn this TV off right now? How dare, how dare he say that? Johnny Bravo, when I see you, I will spank you. I will bend you right over my knee and give you a big wallopin. And the second reason why I don't like Bitcoin, but I, I can give you a hundred reasons why I do. I'm just giving you the scary ones is there's a company called Tether and they can print as much Tether as they want, as much crypto as they want, and they can buy Bitcoin. That's it. It's kind of like uh, the Federal Reserve of the crypto uh, sphere. And when they get audited, shut down something, ooh, it is not going to look good. That that freaks me out. So as long as we got two things, don't audit the Fed and don't audit Tether, we are safe with the Bitcoin. Oh, and then I'll leave in 2.5 because whoever created the code owns, what is it, somewhere between 1% to 10% of it. And that frightens me also. But the good news is there's only going to be 21 million of them. So if you're one of those ones holding it, and I think so many are lost, what, like 6 million are lost, you'll have like 15 million. That is it. That is a uh, a scarce asset. Also, a shout out to the people in my course. Do not, and I've said this on this channel, don't trade. I have to actually say don't trade. That's just for the top 1%. Leave it for us. Leave it to us. You people who uh, go get jobs, just stay at your jobs. You're fine. Don't own equities. This is not an equity. It is a cryptocurrency. But what you need to be aware of is my buy-sell indicators because there are whales. There are whales in this ocean of Bitcoin, and they will splash you right out of everything. And coming in from the banksters, experts warn of economic pain as CARES Act cash dwindles. And I have been saying this over and over, and I really believe this is terrible. Coming from a very conservative, fistically, <laughs> Woo, you guys are going to have fun in the comment section on that one. What kind of damn fist you got there, John and Bravo? Federal Reserve Chairman. He sits on a he sits on a chair, and his name is Jerome. Uh, we call him Pew Pew Powell, said last week that the economy needed more, more fiscal stimulus to continue its recovery. And I am going to agree. I hate to say this. I'm going to agree with you, Jerome. And then you got law professor. What's a law professor? Oh, I see ADHD. Uh, economic law professor says we're uh, in the eye of the storm right now. Vanderbilt never went there. UCLA took uh, took some classes there, never made it to Vanderbilt. I'm going to side with uh, Minucci Smoochie on this one. You take that treasury and you just shove it into uh, the people's pockets. Yes, it creates what we call a really sad thing called inflation, but those people will spend it. And if you know me, like I know me, when you're doing anything, whether it's real estate, stocks, I did say, not professional advice. Don't listen to anything I say. Nothing on this channel. Holy moly. Cartoon character. Why would you listen to a cartoon character? But stay very close to the exit on everything that you do. And if you think you just got a bump in the housing market, it's called a a dead dolphin bounce. Oh, God, that sounds horrible. Cats are fine. They bounce all over the place. So you're looking at a dead cat bounce on this. And once everyone's done running from California and tech, you know all the places that they're... I almost said Texas, sorry my Texas friends, New York, and it is a flood. And then they all go to their, you know, backwoods stuff, shoot up the prices. Everyone's going to hate you. Just be mindful of that. And then like with all things, everything that goes up must come down. And a lot of the people that I talk to are saying it's the end of the year, the beginning of the year, you will definitely, I mean, I don't know. Do I know? Do you guys know a single person that says, let's say the beginning of next year, that we're going to continue doing that. And since you guys like metrics, look what the metrics are showing. The consumers, y'all, are pulling back on spending in September. 
because you guys all got, you know, right into your account, checks, whatever. Uh, Congress debates second, second stimulus. Guys, don't debate it. Just give it to the people. And as this report goes on, halfway through September, Americans are curbing the amount they spend with the economy opening. It's all, you know, movie theaters. Oh, you guys aren't going there? You guys have to spend. If you don't spend, we go into a depression. And the velocity of money, right here, I got to Casper myself on this one. Do you see this right here? This is uh, us spending money. This is money moving around the system. Do, 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 do. do you see this? Depression. We are in a recession slash depression and money is, there is no hyperinflation. Money's not even moving. Actually, you guys are paying off the debt. I know Dave Ramsey says pay off debt, but we're, the, the money is debt. We're in a debt-based system. And if you pay off your debt, you destroy money. And no, it's not money. I get it. It's just, it's a Keynesian thing. It's what you guys think. This stuff. Okay, let me do this. This stuff, digits, created out of thin air. Uh, IOUs, y you can't pay them off. And yes, I understand that money has to have a store of value, right? Currency doesn't have a store of value, so it can't be considered money. She's fix her dress because I, I say that doesn't look very good. In California, they call that a uh, reduction. And JP Morgan says Americans who use Chase, oh, I just might, uh, last week spent 6.5% less than they did a year ago, making the fall from the prior week's print. And then, last but not least, the decline in consumer spending may represent a concern it, early. Pfft, sign that the effects of federal support for the U.S. economy may be starting to fade. No. And hey, look, look, the new uh, Visa Chase card, this is important. Number one, the new cards, you actually have to recharge them. Uh, you have to plug them in. And why is she wearing a pocket protector with all of those Sharpies? That Oh, and why is his number showing up on my screen? And why are her nails so sexy? <laughs> My wife gets like, just the normal ones. She's like, you're disgusting. I'm like, babe, I want you to get those ones that could just dig into my eyes. Is it wrong as a dude that I want the scratchy ones? Is that, is that okay? And all those people that thought they were buying Tesla. <laughs> Nicola. Ah, look at that. This is what's happening. See that little white line that I say, get the frack away. Sell. And I, not financial advice. Don't listen to anything I say. Sell. I know I have indicators. Also, if you're like, wow, this is really cool. It tells you when to buy. Look at this. What's, what is this? What would you have made on this pump and dump? You would have grabbed everyone and then you would have left the scene. Wow. Oh, this is on the daily. It wanted to keep you. I was like, no, get out. Get the frack out. Uh, buy, sell. Fo that says 401%. But I give you $800 off of my course while I'm filming and then everyone's going to cry. When I bump it to a thousand and I say, okay, it's f half off. And then you're paying 500 rather than 200. Don't hate, master your fate and just do what's right. Did I just say master your fate? Wow. Master your fate. Huh. Maybe that's a new one on this channel. And also if you come to the page and it says a thousand dollars, you click on the link. That means you miss the code. You got to come back tomorrow and be like this guy over here that says he's a, uh, where is it? Dad joke, dad joke. I just finished the course and I can't wait to become a millionaire tomorrow. Guys, it's hot. I mean, starting a business, my Amazon course. Okay. You're not going to be a millionaire tomorrow. It's going to take a, a few years. Give it a, I can't, I can't even promise that you'll lose all your money. Don't listen to anything that I say, but I think it's your only best bet is to start a business. Ah, just thinking, or you can have a job and be wiped out from the people that are top 1% or you could try to be that top 1%. But the trading equities, in, in my opinion, in IMO, is so much easier. I think for business, it's luck. It's a lot of luck. And I got lucky on my last one. Did okay on Amazon. Some dude saw it and he goes, I want it. I'm buying the company. I'm like, Whoa, please, you really? And like, yep, forever and ever, I get to make money. So that's a cool thing. And I'm saying it's that was luck. On trading equities, well, that's probabilities. For me, I'm like, yeah. I think I have like an 85, 80% based on my indicators and what I do and my past performance and all that kind of stuff. Business, I don't know. I roll, I take the dice and I roll the dice, take the dice and I throw it. I'm like, oh, nope, 
and the Dow Jones Industrial Average. It's cool when they only have a few few stocks. Did you even know? <laughs> it's really not that many. Uh, Dow drops more than 500 points. S&P 500. Guess how many uh, are in the S&P 500? Do, 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 do. There's 500. Uh, first four-day losing streak. Oh, post first four-day losing streak since February. Oh, it was Valentine's Day. That's Dow falls more than 800 points as... Oh, shut up, please. That's not... You want here? I'll show you. We broke what's called a. Tre I'm doing the worst tr trend line. It just depends, right? This one. Uh, okay. Oh, we're good. Oh, we broke, and then it broke down. You guys see? And then you do another one. Oh, let's say started here. Uh, how how that work? Yeah, you get it. It's like boop 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 all the way up, all the way up. And this guy's looking at you, going, mm, "I'm I'm so confused." And we broke through it. Now let's dive even more technicals because you like. To have two technicals, I only have one technical uh, because the other one is in my wife's purse. Ah, uh, you know, being a high school business teacher, there are so many jokes that I have all day long, and I can't use a fracking single one of them. I, I was going to use a stoof joke, but I, I can't. I can't fit one in right now. Ah, remember what you got to do. Okay, so while I'm doing this, while I'm showing you this, you are. Uh, clicking right there. Okay, see this green line? This is the 200. Oh, look-see, look-see, we broke it. So guess what I'm gonna do? Um, run. <laughs> you wanna know what, when we break this guy right here, see that red one? Uh, have a have a lob, log cabin, uh, like, like a lot of these YouTubers, and run to it. Okay, also, what do we, we had a, oh gosh, we have death crosses approaching, poof. Hey, kids, um, you know, if you got one technical left, I, I would say use it. And look at this. Can I, oh, can I draw for you really quickly? Here, let me help you. Do Can I do an arrow? I can. Look. Do, 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 do. What did that say? That says sell. It says get the frack out. Now, what's that one say? That one says get the frack in. Okay. What does this say? This says nothing, nothing because it's probably going to go in that direction. So we've broken that. When we break this right here, goodbye. And then everyone on the news has to tell you the things that makes people stay like, oh, well, when they discover the cure for death, that's when the governor of California will allow you to come back out of your house. You know, and that's why the market's going down is because of, uh, of double stoof and Donald Trump and... Hillary, like, it's it's not, you guys. It, it's right here. I can show you chart after chart after chart. Know your charts. Don't worry about the farts. And I'm going to hate shipping these things to you guys. Can you see this? I don't know. The the trend is your friend until the end. A hoodie. Look, a hoodie just for you. Totally free. You can unzip it. Look. Show off your, your chesticles up here. It is whoever gets the, the best... Liked of your friends, just I don't know, go on Fiverr, pay a dollar for bots, and then I have to frack and send out hoodies. I'll pay for shipping, I'll do it. It does, I'm sure it does nothing for the algorithm, but just let me give you stuff because I love you guys. And you want to know what the I can't even, you're not supposed to, I know the words not to say because then it like triggers something. I can say YouTube, and then the reason why videos do well and don't do well. Number one, I have to do a video every single day. Otherwise, they take my diaper off and they spank me. And it takes like a month for me just to come back up to where I am now. But just like me being a high school teacher, I think it's so important that you guys know this stuff. So the more I can get it out, the more you click the share. Oh, here's one. I don't know if it works or not. If you click the share button, but you don't even actually share it. You just click it. They're like, oh, I think it's like share copy. You just do that. YouTube's like, oh, must... Must be a good video if Barbara made it almost to the end and click the share button. I always tell this to my high school kids. I'm like, uh, oh, a oh, little snowflake. Did I hurt your feelings? Uh, Mr. Bravo, that's not appropriate. What did you say to her? I said, um, it's going to be really hard out there in the real world. I'm just saying. And they're all trained. They're all trained. They're all trained. Sit in rows, copy stuff out of books. Don't learn anything about money. They know zero about money. Actually, I asked an entire class today. 
I said, you have a, you have a hundred dollars and you put it in a savings account. You get 1% interest. How much over the course of one year do you have left in there? No one knew it. How about a hundred thousand dollars? Cause I was talking about banks and things like no one knows anything. They can't dial a phone. They can't read the clock. Uh, I'd say a third of the class. If I say you have $1 and you take three pennies away, how much do you have? Nothing. We're talking like 15 to 18 year olds. Someone has to do this. I know, I know. Snowflake stock is at risk of a violent sell-off. Oh, wow. Okay. Uh, why one analyst is worried. I mean, how do you even say Snowflake shares are in bubble territory? It's it just IPO'd. Give the dang stock a break. Look at the after hours. Should I trade or should I go now? So here I am on the, the technical. <laughs> Look at this. Look at this lightsaber. It's how many days it's been out. How do you even call it a bubble? The thing, I mean, doesn't does it? It doesn't have a P, does it? Do they earn anything? I, I probably don't think so. And here, let me draw a quick little trend line for you. I know you never measure at the top of a wick, but I'm saying, you know, if the the trend is your friend until the end, ah, I'm just I'm not not thinking it's a good idea. Here's another one. If you send me an email, and you're that guy, right? there that you did a market order which i said do not in my course i'm like don't do a market order do, do, don't i wanted to get in i was going to get in get out call it a day couldn't do anything and then it's like okay let's see where it's going uh if you happen to be the guy that bought it at uh 307 18 19 20 bucks please let me send you something and here you go here is a free economy at work it's not free I'm just using this as an example to show you what's going to happen. New York City restaurateurs debate whether to use the new surcharge. Yeah, go ahead. Go do that. Go charge more people uh, money to be able to sit outside in the street and eat your... Ah, the food's probably not that good. I'm just thinking. And if you thought the exodus from New York was bad now. Yeah, just go ahead. Raise taxes. Do do what, I'm not going to say Republican or Democrats, just do what those people do. They raise tax. They're like, oh, we don't have, we, we got to give free money away. We, we have to get it from taxes. And that's how the system's done. And when the people, the, the lower 50% start getting angry, you know, the riots and stuff, I, this is how you fix it. You give them money. You just shovel money and they'll they'll shut up for a little bit. And I think uh, we're coming to an end of this debt-based system that we have. You feel it, right? You feeling me? And then we got government debt rose at 15, we're just round it, 60% pace in uh, quarter two. Yep, oh, 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 president, you want to watch him? Delivers remarks in Ohio. Uh, all right, let's do that since this is a uh, political channel. Uh, what I will say, though, what I will say is that uh, 58.9. Oh, I see they did round it. Okay. That's our debt exploded from the CARES Act. Well, we, we need another one. I hate day. I hate to say it, you guys just, uh, we're coming to an end. You know, the band-aids, they're all popping off. It's not looking good. And I don't care who gets elected. I don't want to be anywhere near people <laughs> in November, please. I, I'll be on the moon. So Elon will be on Mars. Uh, Trump will be on Uranus. Or will Biden be on your anus? Which one is it? Uh -huh.